Right, a pretty big one here. Now remember, the idea behind solving rational equations is to multiply everything by the lowest common denominator. Now you did this when you were adding and subtracting rational expressions. You've got to figure out what the lowest common denominator is. Now to do that, you need to be able to factor all those denominators and then build them back up from what you've got, what you can visually see, and then this is, this is where you can construct the lowest common denominator. Right, so far, let's have a look, where's my pen gone? There it is. Uh, I have an x plus 3, I've got an x minus 3, but I don't know what this is yet. And remember, you've got to factor it to be able to see what, they, what it's made up of. Now, this is the difference of squares, and it just so happens to be an x plus 3 and an x minus 3. Okay, so your lowest common denominator is x plus 3, x minus 3. That's got an x plus 3 in it. That's got an x minus 3 in it. This has got an x plus 3 in it and an x minus 3 in it. Remember, you don't have to write them twice. All right, x plus 3, x minus 3 is the lowest common denominator. Let's see what is this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this. Everything, this is where the mess starts, everything has to be multiplied by x plus 3, x minus 3. So, here we go. x plus 3 x minus 3, okay, is going to be multiplied by this first term, okay, which is 2 over x plus 3, okay, I'm multiplying the first term by the common denominator. Right, minus, again, x plus 3, x minus 3, see how big these get, I'm going to multiply by the 4 over x minus 3. Okay? Equals. Have I got space? Okay. x plus 3. Remember, everything's been multiplied by x plus 3, x minus 3, because that's where I found the lowest common denominator to be. Over. Sorry, times it by 8 over. And this is where you actually do write that difference of squares as an x plus 3 x minus 3 because that's what x squared minus 9 is now once you've done that now watch now honestly that is it looks big it looks hard but look at it I've got an x plus 3 x minus 3 next to everything in the original question just look at that All right now this is where the fun starts I have an x plus 3 on the top I've got an x plus 3 on the bottom I've got an x minus 3 on the top. I've got an x minus 3 on the bottom. Okay? I've got an x plus 3 on the top. An x plus 3 on the bottom. An x minus 3 on the top. An x minus 3 on the bottom. Alright? So that's nice. Look at that. Everything on the right hand side is just the 8. Okay? Because I got rid of the whole denominator there. Now, what's left over here on the left looks like some distributive laws. Okay, let's just kind of clear this up. Okay, I'm going to do it like this. I have a 2 with an x minus 3. So I'm going to write the 2 first. It's always nice like that. I've got a 2 with an x minus 3. Okay, that's this bit here. Everything else is gone. I've got a negative. Okay, negative. Now, let's again think about this. Let's put the 4 first with the x plus 3. Okay, so that's what I've got over here. Let's just kind of circle that. Okay, so I've got that bit and I've got that bit and there's a minus there. Okay, those are the three pieces. Um, now that looks much easier. Okay, you've done all the hard bit. You're thinking, okay, I've cancelled that one with that one. The uh, That's gone. Everything's gone over there on the right. Okay, let's keep on going. Now it's just the distributive law. 2x minus 6. Honestly, you've done all the hard bit now. This is just the simpler algebra. Minus 4x, again careful, negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. And that all equals 8. Alright? Let's get some things together over here. 2x minus 4x is negative 2x. A 6 and a negative 12 is negative 18. Alright? I'm just combining like terms. So that two, okay. And that equals 8. Right, I'll add 18 to both sides. Get rid of that negative 18. Add 18. 
and I'll give some space over here. Okay, let's go over here a bit. Um, so I'm left with a negative 2x equals what's 8 and 18? It's 26. Divide both sides by negative 2. Okay. Divide by negative 2. And x equals, is that negative 13? Okay, there we go. There's the answer. All right. Whew. So that's all from that one. Okay. So take a look at it. Um, remember, I multiplied everything by x plus 3, x minus 3. Sometimes you end up with even bigger ones than that. Um, because the x squared minus 9 on the right denominator was also an x plus 3, x minus 3. And that was nice because that one totally went. Um, okay, there you go.